Right, I'm going to show you how to make this trap called the board flap trap. And it's kind of like a mouse or a rat trap. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this old, this is from the other trap, the plank trap, which is kind of like a rat trap itself. I'm just going to use this part of it rather than make a new one. And what you could do is just have two planks and a hinge at the back and all this is, is two bits of wood with some elastic to make it kind of snap shut that's all that is so that's two bits of wood and I've got some kind of sticks and then there'll be some other little bits like maybe a screw or a nail or something and we've got one bit we might have to carve so first of all I'm just gonna have a look And prop that up like that so where I've put that we're going to roughly want to drill a hole going right through and we'll say about there so that's one hole then we're going to want another hole down here which is going to be like the trigger stick depending on what stick size of sticks you've got you've got to then work out where you're going to do it so if we're going to have one there got to make sure these can reach so we'll come up a little bit further just to make sure I just got to go at the end there sorry so roughly about there and this one can be shortened as well, which I may well do. Put two holes. I'm going to draw there and there. All right, so I've drilled the two holes. One here and one here. Make sure they're clear because this one has got to be able to run down it like that. So if you need a thinner stick, swap to a thinner one. seems right just to cut some of these bits off So what I'm going to do now is just to make sure this is going to go down I'm going to shorten this stick right, that's going to be that one right so now I'm gonna screw a screw in the end here now, there's several ways you can do this if you had a big a nail with a wide top you could just put a nail straight down because you need something for a bit of wood to sit under like this so the alternative is put a screw in 
this end and then just use a loop of string that will work as well and that's what we're going to do this, this is going to like I said this trap is going to be ever so slightly different to the board flap trap that I saw but essentially it's going to be the same so I'm just going to tie a loop in this So that's what we've got so far. So this one's going to go in here. Now this one is going to sit on top of there and be held by that bit of string. So essentially like this. A trigger here and then that's going to flip up right now how you do this trigger is up to you but the way I saw this in the book it seemed totally weird it didn't make sense to me so I'm just going to carve this out and then show you it I'm going to try and get myself a bit of a point on what I can tie some bait to. Now you could put some notches in it. Put some notches in this to tie bait to. So that's what we've got so far. Now the next part You've got to carve it big enough to go through the hole there. A bit hard to hold. Because all it was on the picture I saw was literally a flat piece of wood or a straight piece of wood with a notch cutting it like this so that goes in there Obviously, you see this piece, it's just going to keep lifting out of the hole. There's nothing to keep it down. So, we're going to do it so it can't lift out, but it can still move around.
The only thing is, we are going to have to do like they did on the picture. This bottom piece is going to have to have a bit removed for the trigger to sit into. So once that's small enough to go in there, you see that's going to lay there like that. So mark, a, mark it there, and you can either drill a big hole or dig a bit out. carry on carving this and I might do the hole as well right so using a crook knife I've dug the depression out for the trigger to go into now I think your best bet really would be to just get a big drill bit and drill that straight through that would be quicker so I'll put this back together now Try our trigger. So this is what we've got so far. Nearly there. We'll take a little bit more off of this. That seems to be working all right. Now what we want to do is get this stick now. You want to roughly gauge where it's got to go with this one. And you've got to be roughly. And you want to cut a notch into this one. And then you can cut the top off it as well. Flat top. And that one got to sit into there. See if we can set it and see if it'll work. Right, now you can see how it's going to work. So we got. This one's stopping it being sprung up. That's your kind of prop. And there's your trigger. So hopefully if we move this, yeah, it worked. I reckon we might need to just make the hole slightly bigger. <laughs> 